You guys should be so proud of me. I woke up early, but my version of early is 1030. But that's early for me. I'd be waking up at like at one and be like, good morning, babe, it's the afternoon. But I woke up today at 1030 because I registered for a soul cycle class at 12 and I actually went. Well, actually I tried to cancel and they said, okay, but we're still gonna take your class credit. So I, t I had to go or else I would lose a class. But the moral of the story is that I went and that's a good thing. This is now my second class that I've taken with my Christmas present, which was soul cycle classes. Holy shit. It's so much fun. It's so hard and I struggle and I literally look like an idiot because everyone is like, yes, like I've been doing this for years. And I'm like, woo, daddy. Like I haven't done this in two years, so. I'm, I look like a fucked up baby on the bike, but I'm there to have a good time. I'm there to learn. I'm there to work out. I'm there to feed my soul. So all those waspy hoes that are in the soul cycle class, like the moms there, go get some more Juvederm and go to Whole Foods. Like, shut up. I've been craving, not craving. I've been obsessed with green juice lately and specifically the ones that taste like grass and dirt. Don't look at me like that. I don't know why. I love the flavor. Even though it, it tastes like shit. Like, it legit tastes like... The, like it, 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 it literally tastes like the earth. But, like, listen. Ugh. Like, it's awful. But, like, something about it is so good to me. I don't know what it is. But I love it. So it's extremely, extremely cold in New York lately. And I've been talking about the weather a lot only because it's pissing me off. It's that type of cold where it's so brisk and frigid, you cannot even walk outside without literally being so uncomfortable. And I hate that. So that makes me like not want to go outside and not want to do anything. And then that turns into me getting sad and then that turns into me like shutting out all my friends and then like rotting in my room, <clears throat> which is not good. <clears throat> Am I good? No. So I'm trying to break the cycle by going out, going to Soul Cycle today. I dropped off some shit for my sister. I'm gonna, ugh, I'm gonna go back out, go to Whole Foods, pick up some shit, and just try to break the cycle of feeling like I can't go outside when like I literally can. And I just like. I, f uh, I hate New York in the winter. It's just so, like, I hate New York City in the winter. It's so awful. And like, you can't, you can barely walk around. It's like, it's just so cold. And you, and it's that awkward, like cold, hot feeling where your, your back is completely drenched and slippery and wet from sweat, yet your fingers are blue. I love that dichotomy. It's like so good. I've been back in my apartment now for almost a week and it's dope, it's lit. My roommate isn't back yet, so I don't even know when she's coming back, but I had the, I've had the apartment to myself and I'm living my like fantasy of having my own apartment in New York. So I'm like, ah, like, wait, my key like to my apartment. I'm like, oh my, f like, yes, oh. Unlock my apartment and sleep there. All right. But for some reason, I've been thinking about like, what happens if I choke? What happens if I, if someone breaks in? Like I'm dead. Like if I choke on like a piece of like food, like I'm dead, like I'm done. Like no one can save me, I live alone. So like I'm dead. If I slip and fall and hit my head, I'm dead. There's a fire, like, oh, I'm dead. Living alone, is it that great? Yes, I will put those fears aside. Here's a fun story. So I was like, wait, I can just like, not that I want to walk around naked, but I was like, wait, let me just do it. Like at least from like the my room to the shower. Oh, oh, oh my. I looked to my left. The, we have like these blinds and of course you could see between the panels and yes someone was in their apartment and they i think they saw me naked in my kitchen 
So that's something I don't want to explain. Granted, I will probably never see them in my life, but it is scary to think that random people have seen me butt ass naked in my kitchen. Anyway, uh, let's get the day started, shall we? Ugh. Oh, it's so bad, but it's so good. Yeah, remember that tripod I bought? Lost it. It's gone. So, love it or list it. I'm gonna have to list it because it's gone. Haul! Sour cream and onion chips. Duh. This garlic bread. Look, it's literally like the bottom half like a sourdough. Are you kidding? I'm gonna make this tomorrow for my friends. I got this truffle mayonnaise. A new loofah because I'm sick and tired of rubbing basically dirt and bacteria from my old loofah on my body. So it was, I was due for a new one. These vegan muffins are so fucking delicious and they have an apple cider flavor. So actually I'm gonna do a taste test RN. Mmm, mmm. I don't know if it's cause they're vegan or if it's just the recipe, but they're like chewy, like, mmm. GG pasta ingredients, like duh. And last but not least, these chips. I saw these on the shelf and I said, what? So it's called wild protein chips made from potato? No, made from chicken breast. And I'm not really sure what that means, if I'm gonna be honest. Like, how do you make a chip out of chicken breast, but this is the Himalayan pink salt and chicken flavor. So I'm gonna, let's do a little test. Okay, well, I'm scared. No, no, no. No, um, yeah, that was fucking nasty. <laughs> it smells like a rotisserie chicken from Costco, and it literally tastes like the skin off of a rotisserie chicken, which would, which sounds good, but not, but not. No, 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 no. Yeah, that was very unpleasant, and I will not be ingesting those ever again, and I'm so sad that I spent $5 on that bag. This bag for this amount of chips was $5. Whole Foods, let's figure it out. Yeah, no. Uh. And then I went to the detox market and got a refill on my stress supplements cause like, I need it! I definitely need that. And thank God, cause I was about to run out. And then this caught my eye. I was like, I know this candle is about to be like $8,000 cause it's at this detox market, but it really wasn't that bad. And it's in the um, scent sacred, which guys like, whoa, holy shit. Does this like smell heavenly and godlike? Wait. <clears throat> oh, it literally makes me expel the shit in my body because it smells so good. Yeah, that logic makes sense. Oh, oh my God. Oh my god, this smells so fucking good. Ugh, okay. Oh my god. Ugh. Obsessed. I can't wait to light that tonight. So if you guys want a new candle to check out that's fucking delicious, this one is the one to go. I'll leave it there for a couple seconds. Don't look at my cuticles. Ew! Oh my god, that was so weird. Does that look weird? Wait. Why do I, I like, do you see how I am? Anyway, it's time for I like this, but I also hate this. I love break. 
Ugh, like I just wake up like every day on this winter break just with no stress and just genuinely happy, which whoa, goddamn is that rare. Oh, just to wake up and have nothing to do is a feeling that is indescribable. I hate New York. No, I don't hate New York. I hate being cold in New York. Winter, just exit out. No more of that. I actually think I'm gonna go to the government and say, hey, put New York under a dome, just like they did in the Simpsons movie, but put it over New York and just pump heat completely destroy the environment and the ozone layer, but the citizens will be happy and we can all vibe. I love this fucking candle I just bought. Like, whoa, I can't wait to smell this tonight. Why can't it be later? I hate how I'm acting right now. I feel like I'm acting like fucked up, like stupid, like dumb, but not in a good way. Aren't birds like mad cold? Yeah, they got their feathers, but that's 100% not enough. I'm gonna interview one. I love that Euphoria is coming back tomorrow. Today's Saturday the 8th, so it's coming back tomorrow. I don't, I'm not wearing a watch, so I don't know. But I'm so excited, and that's literally why my friends are coming over tomorrow. I'm gonna make Gigi pasta, we're having a whole dinner party, and then we're gonna watch Euphoria. It's gonna be amazing. I hate that movies are getting delayed again. There's like two or three movies that I wanted to see that got delayed into like the middle of the year, and I'm like, oh. I love my PlayStation 5. <laughs> Holy shit, it's so fun, and I can't wait to get more games and rot away in my bed and become a version of myself that I never thought was possible. Why do I turn everything into like such a negative? No, I'm gonna slay the day away. No, I have to be negative. I hate when I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, uh, water! And then I grab my water bottle, I'm like, and there's nothing in it. Like, I'm pretty sure I filled it up before I went to sleep, but whatever. Um, I hate that. And then I have to get up like a fucking zombie and fill it up. I'm acting as if it's like the end of the world that I have to get up and walk like five feet to like my water dispenser. I'm good. I'll survive. But it is an annoyance. So I'm going to end this on a love. I've never done that before. I love 2022. So far, knock on wood. Oh, wait. The wood I got from Home Depot for my fucking TV! So far, so good. Everything's been like slaying. I've been going to Soul Cycle, taking my supplements, feeling great. Hopefully, this continues when school starts, even though I know it won't! I know it won't. Okay, to close this video, I will be making an impossible burger, but I'm gonna make it my way and it's gonna be fucking delicious. So just watch. Okay, I destroyed that. Look at this burg. Let's see. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I'm a chef. You're not. Mmm. Mm. Fuck social media. Fuck my marketing degree. I'm opening up a burger joint called Burgers Joint, where it's weed infused. Sure. Anyway, that's it for this video. Um, I literally did nothing and I was basically talking in my room the entire time. So sorry about that. But not really, cause it's, that's what I did today. I don't have any new song suggestions cause I've basically been listening to the same shit over and over again. So don't forget to subscribe, uh, ring the bell, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. And I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and lovely. And I'll see you next week. Mwah!